I get excited when I do this stuff. I love looking. Like it's all part of the thrill of the digging, you know, like the digging and the finding is the best part of this for me. All right, headed into work today. It's a Sunday, but we open up at 12 on Sundays. So I'm getting a little bit of a late start. It's like 12, 10 and I'm almost there, but it's rainy and dreary outside. So the key. And it's supposed to really start raining around three when you own a business. Cause on a day like this, you just, you don't have a boss. So you have the option to like, just stay home. You know, like you're not gonna get fired here say, because you are the boss, but it also sucks because like you have a lot of bills to pay. If you take a day off, then you're behind on literally every bill. So it's just like, it's not really worth it to stay home, even though you have like the privilege kind of. You have the privilege to stay home, but you have like more responsibility with all the bills to take care of the business and everything like that. So it's kind of like a, a struggle some days to come to work, even though like you just want to sleep and everything like that. But it's a little different when you actually own it too you know so i'm headed in today uh, hopefully it's gonna be a pretty decent day it's all always hit or miss on days when it's like rainy and such because either it'll be super super busy like everyone comes out and shops or it won't have a single customer like at all like we'll go for the next five or six hours without a single customer but then some days when it rains it'll be extremely busy there's no really gauge on any of that you know so gonna get the shop opened up today gonna hang out try to catch some of the rain water because there's a couple spots in the building that kind of flood when it rains so uh, I gotta put some buckets out and catch some of that before it, it really like floods good parts of the store it's a good thing right now it's 12 uh, 10 and no one's at the store yet so I'm late but thankfully there's not a few people waiting out here mad at me that I wasn't here on time <laughs> But yeah, we're about to get this store opened up and I'll take you along with me as I do so. It rained a little bit last night, so it's real wet outside. Some of the stuff outside gets wet. It's no big deal. That's why we like, we tarp off all these tools in these containers here for when it rains. And before I stop you, oh, look who's outside already. We like to lock her inside the building, but she always finds a way outside. She's hungry. It's she usually doesn't remember how to get back inside. But I also got this pear cinnamon Red Bull. It's pretty weird, but all right, I'm gonna open up inside it. All right, Sparkles is inside. It is so dark and creepy in here. Before you turn the lights on or open any doors, I just like, you can hear the building creaking and everything. It's real quiet. But I gotta unlock this door. Feed the fish, feed the sparkles, and then we'll start the day. Say hi to the tequila girl. Hold this store now. That's pretty much how we open the store up. We'll open both garage doors, turn on the lights, turn the radio on, feed the cat, feed the fish, and then we start the day. Then we just kind of wait around and hope for customers. And then I get in and start filming some videos myself. But then we also, the goal is to try to get the store like like the whole thing, like 1% better a day. We try to get the store like 1% cleaner every day. Or try to go through like 1% or just like a couple boxes every day. Bring in new stuff out every day because we have the entire back half closed right now. Like I keep mentioning, <laughs> it's because we're trying to get it all cleaned up. I recently started these new basket idea deal. Yeah, idea. So where you put a whole bunch of stuff from inside, we put it in baskets outside and they start out at $2 for everything in the basket. Just everything in there is just $2 a piece. And then after a week, we move it to the, uh, we switch the signs and make it a $1 basket. And then after a week, we move it a 50 cent basket. And then after a week, a quarter basket. And after that week, we make it free. So we just put it out in the parking lot for anyone that just wants to take whatever. So it's kind of helping us clear out some stuff and it's also giving some stuff, giving it away. Some good items, like not trash or anything, but it's just stuff that's kind of been bulking up inside the store. A lot of excess like glassware, dishes, pots, pans, things we have thousands and thousands of in here that they're kind of hard to sell faster because we get them so often, but they're still good pieces. So we try to just eliminate a lot of the wasted space that we have in here for, for better items. But this is the sign here. Hello, welcome to Little Mike's Thrift Advantage. It's similar to a garage sale. Some stuff has prices, some doesn't. Just bring it up front, we have price it. Have a look around. And then my old hours are just the weekend. We will price it for you and kind of give you the best price we can give you because it's kind of like a garage sale. So we're not like, there's a few pieces that are super nice and super valuable. So those are the ones that we're gonna try to get more value out of. 
Um, so we try to definitely price those, especially the furniture pieces and some of the more antique or vintage pieces. But a lot of the other thrift items, it's like 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, whatever. And just get it gone. That's the goal. All right. So it's like 12.45 ish and no customers have showed up yet. It's like currently raining outside. So I'm going to work out here in the back a little bit. I still have to turn the light on. I decided to set the camera up to show it real quick was uh, trying to get all these boxes and all these shopping carts here kind of moved out and put the boxes up top on that top shelf so that gives more room to be able to put all the stuff that was over there from the last couple of houses that are filling up all the aisles in the back of the store to come over here so it gives us a little more time to look through all the stuff all right guys hey how's it going this is me going to a scrapyard while they're closed today I get the privilege of going to the scrapyard while they're closed because they're my neighbor. Because here's the thrift store and there's the scrapyard. And they're my neighbor and I'm, we're real good neighbors. So I get to come to the scrapyard and I buy some stuff from the scrapyard to take to resell. A lot of the time too is like those T-posts that I, I just walked past. Uh, they are from the scrapyard. People go and scrap them out, but then I go through and I buy a lot of stuff for like the scrap and then I take around and take it to the thrift store. But I'm gonna take you along while I get to go to the scrapyard. Today's little, little uh, scrapyard adventure. It's Sunday, so not much is going on. Just having the store opened up is pretty slow, but we're gonna go through the scrap pile and kind of see if we can find anything good. Sometimes you find some very weird pieces or pieces that you can make kind of fix up and make cool that I find a lot of time I always thought it'd be cool if um I don't know how to do it to have like a flea market behind the thrift store some days like on the weekends people can come set up because it's that whole field right there it wouldn't be hard for me to move the cars that are back there now but have it like a huge like flea market deal where people can go through and kind of shop at the flea market but here's kind of what's in the scrap pile today Kind of show some of the pieces, we'll look through them together. Sometimes I find some very, very cool pieces in here. Like up there, right up there, there is a dog cage or a cat cage, like that wired uh, basket cage right there. Looks like it's all there because the bottom's there too. I have to climb up there here in a minute to dig that out. But I don't normally come here when they're open. I just talk to the guy who runs the place and he lets me come here when they're closed. What's this? Oh, it almost looks like a baseball card. This is going to the scrapyard while they're closed. Finding some things. It's missing all the windows in it. But what they do is uh, people will come up on the scale over there, weigh in, and then after they get off the scale, they'll come over here, unload it in the pile, or the track will pick it up off their trucks or trailers, and then they'll go back around, get on the scale, and then it'll show their weight difference, or those, they're not really familiar. Like, look at this cool toolbox right here. We're gonna have to pull that out the scrap pile. That's a cool looking toolbox. Kind of a lot more trash than usual. There's not much good stuff here. Oh, there's a wheelbarrow there barrel. I get a chance to go through and look through the scrap pile and find some cool pieces like wagon wheels are huge like old farmers and stuff like that they scrap wagon wheels and it's way too cool to let like wagon wheels go to waste like a lot of the people that work here too and the guy that run, owns the scrapyard here he uh his name is Mitra and he knows the save stuff for me like right here there is a wagon wheel right there an old metal wheel right there that is safe for me to come get so I'll have to uh what I do is I get a big pile of stuff and then I'll come through on Monday when they're here and then I'll weigh it out and talk with him and figure a price up on everything that I get. And that's kind of the way it goes. But this here is mainly just looks like metal and junk. Nothing really too good and it's also kind of muddy. So I have to be careful. Every once in a while I'll find good stuff but a lot of time it's just little small things I'm able to buy for scrap to resell. Oh wow, look at this is like old hood. That's cool. Check that out. I have no idea what it's to. Let me set the camera up. Check out that hood. That's cool. The emblem's broken off of it. 
Oh, it's like a Buick. It's like a Buick. Don't grab it. Grab it. It's like a Buick emblem. I think that's a Buick emblem on that hood. That's an old, old timey hood. See, stuff like that is stuff people scrap because they don't really see any use or value to it. But me being a reseller and just a collector and lover of old things, I, um, sorry, I'm looking around. I have to keep stuff like that. Like I, it's either going to be recycled, which is a good thing too, the recycling, because instead of the stuff being thrown away and just sitting in the landfill, all this metal is going to be like melted down and made more metal out of it. So one way or another, it's still good. But for me, I like to see things be kept the way they are. Like that hood and the wagon wheel and that toolbox. So those are the only three things we found today, but so far. But that's just some of the stuff that you find. Being able to read stuff like that is a lot better than uh, having to go buy it new. Or, I mean, you can't even buy stuff like that new. Like that stuff's just so antique and eclectic. Like they don't tell the story of stuff like that. It's just too cool not to uh, hold on to. This was an old crane. I remember they cut it up. They've been cutting that up with torches for the past like almost year. As you can see all the torch marks here. It was like an old crane for Fort Sill. So it's been uh, decommissioned and now they're recycling it. A lot of very, hev very heavy. I think it weighed close to 70,000 pounds when it was first brought in. Cause it was like the full crane. Old front end to this truck here is cool. Look at those headlights. Old chair, like old step stool chairs. Kind of a boring week at the scrapyard this week. There's nothing too exciting today. For when I was like low on inventory, I'd buy like good pieces of sheet metal like that because they would sell pretty good uh, for people that were fixing up like a shed or a barn or something because buying a piece off of me for like two or three dollars when I'm paying like 50 cents or a dollar is way uh, better of a deal than going and buying it for a couple hundred dollars. I mean, like a, a lot, whatever I'm trying to say. I lost track because I was looking. I get excited when I do this stuff. I love looking. Like It's all part of the thrill of the digging. You know, like the digging and the finding is the best part of this for me. Like that's what I enjoy the most. But anyways, what I was saying was it's always a better deal for me to be able to buy used sheet metal sheets and resell them for a lot less than for someone to go buy it new. There's also a smell. It's hard to explain the smell because it's always like, there's always old refrigerators. Every time, like there's always refrigerators being scrapped. So the smell is always the smell of like, just nasty old refrigerators, like in these huge piles. Scrap yard, old sink, old like cast iron sink. Let me know if you think I should have picked up the sink. I'm gonna leave it behind. It's not that I can sell it, but I'm gonna get the toolbox, the dog cage, the wagon wheel, and the old hood. So four items today out of the scrap yard. Let me know if I should have got the sink. Comment down below if you think I should have gotten the sink. I don't know for sure. Let's, I'm gonna show it again in the camera. I try to stray away from things I don't know until I learn a little more about it. But yeah, that's the pile at the scrapyard. That's what they had today on a Sunday. It's about to rain here in a minute, so I gotta hurry up and get everything loaded up in my pile and then come back tomorrow and buy it all. Got my nephew hanging out the store today. I'm in babysitting duty for the next couple minutes. Uh, so this is him hanging out here. He's trying to fix his car and he's playing.